Hello everyone, I'm going to demonstrate how to run Plan 9 operating system inside a VirtualBox VM. I've already downloaded the Plan 9 installation CD image as an ISO onto my hard disk. Here I'm going to create the new image. I'm just going to specify other unknown for the OS type. I'm going to give it 512 megabytes of RAM. I'll give it a 2 gigabyte hard disk size. Okay, now just a couple of more tweaks. I am going to change the network settings a little bit. I found that NAT worked fine for at least in my, my case. Uh, the adapter type I'm going to change to the Intel Pro 1000 MT server adapter type. And that's basically it. So I need to provide the CD image that I downloaded, the ISO from the Plan 9 website. I'm ready to launch the installer. I will install the Plan 9 operating system onto the hard drive from the CD. For these options, I'm just going to use the defaults. For the VGA size, um, I just found that 1024 by 768. 32 bit bits per pixel is fine. see here this is a reasonable window size. Alright, so here I have the installation wizard. For a lot of these options I'm going to pick the defaults. Except when the installer doesn't provide a default. So here I'll choose the hard disk to install to. Um, I will choose to install the master boot record. And here I'm just going to write uh, the uh, the uh, partitioning information. Again here I'm just going to write out the partition table. Here I'm going to install from local media because I have the CD image. So in this case, I'm going to choose the CD-ROM drive. It'll ask me to browse. I can just exit right away. The root directory seems to be the correct directory for the uh, distribution. All right, it should copy the files over. It's running the installation.
be great. So for here, um, because this is an isolated VM, I, I don't plan to do a boot or anything like that. So I'm just going to tell it to uh, do the plant nine boot method, and I want to install this in the master boot record. Yes. Okay, great. Now I can run the finish. And it's asking me to uninstall the uh, installation disk from the drive, so I'm just going to uncheck the Plan 9 disk, and it says I can feel free to reboot my computer or shut it down, so I'm just going to do a reset. Yes. Okay, so now I'm booting the Plan 9 that I've installed on the hard disk. Um, I just picked the default option here. Uh, and <clears throat> the default user on a Plan 9 install is this user Glenda. You can read the uh, Plan 9 wiki to figure out how to add new users to the system, but for now I'll just use the default account. Okay, great. Here I have a basic Plan 9 install running. It's worth noting that for this particular image, I actually have a USB 3 button mouse with a scroll wheel. And it works reasonably well. VirtualBox seems to be able to communicate all three buttons. Plan 9 seems to require all three buttons to use this UI properly. Now I'm going to configure the networking. Okay, so here I have opened a terminal. And for the networking, I found that at least somewhat the running the IP IP config command is able to properly um, use DHCP through VirtualBox and get an IP address. There is, however, one small problem, and that is that the DNS doesn't seem to be set up properly, at least for me. So in order to fix that, I'm going to need to figure out what IP address to assign me, and the way I do that is I run with the dash capital D parameter, the IP config, and scroll down can see here that I got assigned the IP address 10.0.2.15. So I'm going to use that. I need to modify the libndb local file. So I just right click here and then I right click to open up a pane. Let's see it's opened libndb local. I'm going to scroll down to this line here with the IP address. I'm going to put my IP address that I was assigned using DHCP. I give my system a name and a domain. Here I'll put uh, DNS equals, and I'm going to just use the standard Google DNS server. You can use whatever DNS server you like as long as it's routable from your network. I'm going to click up here and just do a uh, write and then a quit. Great, so now the local file has been updated. And to do a quick test of this configuration, I'm just going to run a pane. Right. So to get DNS running, I have to run ndb dns minus r. That runs the DNS server. Then plan nine, and we're going to try the pin again. Right, here we go. You can see that it uh, successfully pinged google.com twice. So that's that's pretty much it. Here's a basic uh, plan nine uh, install running with network capabilities on VirtualBox. Um, again, uh, be sure to uh, have a three button mouse and hook it up to your USB or what have you, to make sure that you can make full use of the UI. Thank you very much for watching.